Hi guys, welcome back, Cal Clash Fitness. Now today I wanted to make a video for you guys on how I originally got into barefoot running. Now it's a long time ago now, but I think it would be really beneficial for anybody that's thinking about getting into Vibrams or who has recently got into Vibrams, okay? Or anyone that's just normally running and just wants to see if barefoot running's for them, to be perfectly honest. So, first and foremost, why? How did I get into it? So I was at the time 17, 18 stone in weight, which is heavy. Muscular, mainly muscle anyway at the time. Um, and I decided to get into running to lose weight to get back into Thai boxing, which had been my sport pretty much my whole life with a little blip of weightlifting in between. Now, I started running just in an old pair of, you know, padded, high heeled running shoes as you do, just a, a pair that are laying around. I quickly discovered that I was getting shin splints, I was getting knee pains, and I was getting hip pains, and essentially all of my joints in my body would just hurt and ache, you know, from my hips, my lower spine, my back, everywhere basically. Um, I'd lay down, if I'd been out for a run, I'd lay down in bed, and really my skeletal structure would just be sore, it would hurt. and. <laughs> Skeletal pain, joint pain, is not good pain. Muscular pain can be good pain as long as it's not injury pain. But muscular pain, uh, sorry, skeletal pain when running, that is not good. So, what did I do? I took to the internet, of course, of course I did. Took to the internet. And what did I discover I needed? A gait analysis. A nice, expensive gait analysis is what I needed. Of course that's what I needed, right? So. 45 minutes down the M1, which is a motorway in the UK, for those of you that don't know. 45 minutes drive down there. Um, get, on a, get on a treadmill with a minimum wage per uh, person. Nothing wrong with that, but absolutely no skills or qualifications in running whatsoever. Blast me onto a, a, a treadmill, get me running, trying on various different pairs of overpriced, high-heeled, padded trainers, right? Running shoes. As I was running on the treadmill, they had the cameras, pretending to know what, it, what they were talking about. Oh yeah, it looks like you're overpronating or underpronating and this and that, talking all of this. And I'm like, right, yeah, yeah, I've read about that, underpronating, yep, okay, do right, all right. Eventually they sold me a pair of, and I can remember them vivid as that, I can't remember the model number, it's name, it's, it's irrelevant now. But essentially they sold me a pair of K-Swiss running shoes, bright red, bright yellow, I think the whole experience cost me about 120 quid and away I went, happy as Larry, right, this is going to fix me up big time. The problem is that I was overpronating or underpronating or whatever it is. That's what, that's, what, that's, what, that's what the 17 year old in the shop has just told me based on 10 minutes of me running on a treadmill with a camera. Um, totally unscientific, but of course, gait analysis is. Couldn't wait to go running. The next day, went out for my first run. Shin splints, knee pain, loads of hip pain, loads of joint and skeletal pain, as usual. As bad, if not worse, than it was before. I was heartbroken. I was, you know, I was just so deflated. I really wanted to get into running, you know. I, I, it just felt like something that's so natural and it should be, should be easy, should be, should be enjoyable, should be good. And every time I, I tried to do it, I, I failed really. My body failed me and I could not understand it, okay? Maybe the first pair of running shoes I was running in, maybe they were old or the padding had worn down or whatever it is, I thought. That's what I'd read. I'd got my gait analysis and it hadn't helped. Had they done it wrong? Am I actually an overpronator instead of an underpronator? Or am I a neutral runner or whatever they, whatever they say? All of these things. And then everything changed when I went out for a run with my, my good friend now, colleague at the time, called Pete, and we went out for a run, and he had these things on called Vibrant Five Fingers, which he'd been telling me about, admittedly, and I totally wrote it off. Weird nut job running these, um, in these minimal toe shoes. So we went out, we started running, obviously I was plodding along with my heel strike, you know, grinding out, long strides, pulling myself along with a horrible high-heeled padded shoes. And he just went gliding off like a gazelle. I'd never seen anything like it in, in any runner ever before. He just went gliding off, off on his, light on his toes, gliding off. We went round the corner and he just went phew, up the hill, down the other side. And I didn't see him again until the end of the run. Until I came slamming back down, 
bang, 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 every footstep shaking the earth beneath me. All right? And from that day, I knew I was doing something seriously wrong. My eyes were opened. And on that day, I realised that I had been a sheep for the whole time, for this whole running thing, gait analysis and all of it. I was just doing it wrong. And so he recommended a book to me, Born to Run. I started to read that. And as I was reading it, I was still running in the K-Swiss, still having tons of problems, still going to bed in pain, shin splints, blah, 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 blah. You know the story. And one day I got so frustrated, I went out for a run down a country lane and I got about half a mile in and I couldn't go anymore because my shins and my knees were hurting so much and it was ridiculous. And I'd, I'd been reading the book religiously. Every moment I got, I'd be reading Boards of Run. And I just thought, you know what? These shoes are coming off. And I ran the country road in my socks. I just, I just, it was, it was tarmac, very rough tarmac, and there was, um, what's the best word for it? Horse plops all over the, all over the, all over the floor. Didn't matter. I whipped the, whipped the trainers off, whip, whipped the, whip the case whips off, one in each hand. And I remember there's plenty of dog walkers out that day looking at me as if I was a complete nutcase. And I just started running in, in my socks down the tarmac road. I could not believe it, honestly, and I, I would implore anyone to do this, you know, just do it for uh, you know, 30 seconds in your socks, down some nice smooth tarmac, and you'll see what I mean. That's not enough to injure yourself. I could not believe it. It felt like I was running on clouds. I was running in nothing but my socks on hard tarmac under my feet. And it felt like I was running on clouds. You know, my body was the natural shock absorber. My body my tendons, my muscles, the ligaments, everything that my body is designed to, to do. Impact, absorb the impact, not through my skeletal structure, but through you know, what's been biomechanically engineered for me over hundreds of thousands of years. We've been running for longer than the 1970s, which is when these ridiculous shoes were created. So I went whizzing off up the road, Socks got worn out pretty quickly. They were covered in, you know, um, wet horse poo. Uh, they'd been ripped open. I couldn't believe it. I ran about half a mile more, ran back. Eventually had to put my shoes back on because the socks were done for and my feet started to hurt. But my eyes had been opened. My world had been changed. And I went straight online as soon as I got home, bought my first pair of Vibrams and the transition started and the rest is history. And that is pretty much how I got into barefoot running. Now there was a transition period, there was plenty of build up, and then there was getting my times down and focusing on, on just running basically. But that is how I discovered barefoot running and that is how I got into barefoot running. That is how I fell in love with barefoot running, guys. Please tell me your stories down below. How did you get into barefoot running? Are you thinking about getting into barefoot running? What are your thoughts on barefoot running? Let me know in the comments down below. Guys, as always, I love to hear from you. Please hit the like button. Please share this video far and wide so that anyone that is un unknowingly, unwittingly a sheep can see this video and start to make some proper decisions, not paying a fortune for some muppet to tell them that they're under or over pronating, which is just a symptom of the ridiculous running shoes that they're selling to them. Guys, as always, I am not a sheep. You are not a sheep. There are no sheep in the Steve Cow Clash Fitness Shed. For now, you know what to do by now. Keep it rolling.